welcome back to my doll collecting channel. Today I have one of my favorite types of videos to film and that is reaction to the American Girl releases. Uh, well, new releases. And today we have such an exciting one and that is the new Disney American Girl collab. Now, I just wanna answer a question and I can't find the screenshot. I thought I screenshotted this. But people were wondering if this is a limited edition version of the dolls like the Jasmine, Belle, and Rapunzel doll that were released last year, uh, right before the holidays. But these dolls don't say limited edition. Uh, they don't say like limited quantities. And people were asking American Girl on Facebook and Instagram if that was the case, if they were limited edition. And American Girl said, no, this is a new core line of dolls from American Girl, which is really exciting, which means there might be a possibility that uh, more dolls will be released in the future and I have my fingers crossed for an Elsa and Anna because Frozen is my favorite. I do really like Belle from Beauty and the Beast um, but you know what, I'll talk about that a little bit later. All right so the one thing about this collection if you don't know already so you can get just the doll so you can get Ariel for example and then they made two dresses for the Disney princess and then you can get her whole collection which comes with her accessories and the two outfits and overall this oh this is cute and you can just get the dresses on their own if you don't want the full collection or if you don't want the doll if you want maybe like a Halloween costume for one of your dolls that is definitely something you could do too okay overall let's talk about this Ariel doll now this doll is very, very cute. I love how they use the Nenea mold. I feel like the Nenea mold, I love the Nenea mold. And I just think it looks so great and just totally catches the spirit of Ariel because we kind of have like Nenea who is from Hawaii. She has kind of this beach theme going on. And so I feel like that's, I don't know. I feel like Nenea and Ariel are kind of like related somehow. I don't know how to describe it, but I just, it makes me really happy that they chose the Nenea mold for some reason. Then also this Ariel has these beautiful turquoise eyes. Um, I think they're turquoise. And they're kind of this greeny blue aqua, not aquamarine, I wanna say turquoise, seafoam, seafoam green. Very, very cute. I love it, I love her little hair clip. Also, another thing I love about this doll is, first of all, she comes with shoes, which is nice. I wonder if there's a photo of her shoes and this little necklace. But I really love the top that she's wearing. And I love these two dresses here with Ariel's day dress, um, with the shoes, and just, I love it so much. The only kind of complaint I have about these dolls is they look a little bit costumey. They look a little bit like a Disney princess costume that you would buy for Halloween. However, that might be the look they're going for. Maybe that's something that I'll, I'll like later because some of the dolls, like the historical dolls from American Girl, um, especially the older ones, um, have a little bit more of a, like a practical, realistic feel. But these ones feel a little bit costumey, which is, I think it's okay. Now that I'm talking about it, I feel like it's probably okay and that's maybe what they're going for, but it does kind of have this costumey feel in my opinion. Then we have this with the pink castle ball dress. This is really, really cute. Um, really adorable. Again, with the clip, adorable. Overall, this doll is fairly cute. And I think it's a fairly reasonable price for $125. Now, I understand that it's a little bit more than the regular American Girls, but I think I'm okay with that. Isn't that only like $10 more? Um, so these dolls I might get in my future if one really speaks to me because that seems like a reasonable price. It still would be pretty expensive in Canadian, but at least it's reasonable, unlike the collector dolls, which feel impossible, in my opinion, for a collector to purchase them, a Canadian collector to purchase them. So that's enough about Ariel. We're moving on to Cinderella, and Cinderella's collection is so cute too. Um, again, her dress feels a little bit costumey, but again, that might be an intentional choice that to look like a Halloween costume. However, the quality of this Cinderella doll, I feel like it, like if the doll herself, not her costume, is like immaculate is the first word that comes to mind. I really like this um, doll. The hair is really well done. Oh, look at those sparkle earrings. So cute. The blue eyes, the her face. 
mold. I can't recognize the face mold. Maybe it's Josefina or maybe it's Joss. I can't really tell from the computer. Um, Joss and Josefina, I have a really hard time telling the difference um, uh, online. Um, but overall, I feel like this doll is just absolutely gorgeous. Um, and her eyebrows are really, really cute. Overall, this doll is cute. I like her a lot. Then we have Cinderella's day dress. So cute. Um, a little bit more of the everyday wear with the shoes. Overall, this is fairly cute. Um, some people were saying that in order to have this outfit accurate, you'd have to take down the bun from Cinderella and it wouldn't look the same. So that's just a consideration maybe when you're buying this outfit is that you'd have to consider her hair. Uh, the quality of the bow looks really nice. So I do really like that. Oh, she has curly hair. That's really nice. Um, with this pink dress. I love this pink dress as a kid. Um, it made me really sad when they like tore it up in the cartoon. But this is really, really cute. Um, so cute. I, I love it. And um, yeah, overall Cinderella is really, really cute as well. Oh, look, underwear. That's cute that it comes with matching underwear and a headband. And overall, I really like this Cinderella. Cinderella is not my favorite Disney princess, but I do like her looks wise. And overall, I think she's really cute. And if I was a fan of Cinderella, I probably would get this doll because she seems like really high quality. Let me have Tiana or Tiana. I'm, I should know this, but I have, I saw the movie once when I was in theaters and I haven't seen it since. Um, but I love the dress here. It seems really cute. Um, the, I love, I think this is the McKenna face mold. Let's see if it zooms in on the face mold. I want to say, is it McKenna or like the Claudie mold? I think her eyes are stunning. Her lip paint is also very stunning. Um, I think the eyes, it's, oh, it looks like she's kind of giving a side eye in this photo here. It looks like she's kind of like angling towards the camera. It's kind of weird. Um, but overall, I think she's really cute. I like her curls. And then over here, we have Tiana's work dress and accessories. This is by far the cutest outfit. Um, now I don't, I'm not too familiar with the movie, so I didn't recognize this outfit when I first saw it, but it would look so cute as a historical outfit on like a Ruthie or a Claudie. I see a lot of people saying that they would get this for their Claudie doll, um, which is really cute. I like it a lot. I love the hat overall. This is like a really good piece because I think it would work well on other dolls as well. So next we have this blue dress, which I do remember from the movie. Uh, so cute. I actually like how they have like two dressy outfits for the dolls and then like one casual one. That's like really cute and I really, um, I really like that. Um, and overall this is just really, really cute. Um, I like the necklace too. So overall gorgeous. Um, so what are some of my thoughts on, um, the this new line of dolls is going to be a new core line my opinion i really want them to bring back bell and have some of bell's classic dresses so i'm gonna pull up on google what are some of the dresses i would love to see for a bell version of this doll okay so i found an image here of some of the dresses that they could release with a bell doll i love bell's dresses so much um and you could definitely get this very popular iconic um blue dress with the apron i feel like that would be just so cute i don't know if they would use this green dress which this green dress is so beautiful i love both the pink and the green dress a lot um and i feel like either of them would be really cute i slight have a preference for the green one because you don't see it as much and I kind of would like them to create this green dress here if they released a Belle doll. So overall, am I going to be getting any of the dolls from this collection? No, because I'm not the biggest fan of any of these characters. However, if they released an Elsa or Anna or a Belle version, because the Belle collector's edition, I didn't love her so much. And especially with the price tag, it was crazy. Now, if that Belle costs this much, I would seriously consider it. So if they do release a bell in this line, 
I would really, really consider it. Anna is another one I would really consider. Elsa is another one. Um, Merida would be, or Merida, what's her name? The one from Brave is a really cute doll. So I would love to see her as a doll. Um, you know, Raya or Raya. Oh my God. How am I not pronouncing any Disney princess names names right at all today? Would be another cute one. So many cute things they can do. Overall, I'm very excited for this collection. Um, which, which is awesome. Like, I think it's really cute. My first reaction to it, however, was I was a little bit disappointed because it, it, I don't know. It's very different from what American Girl has done in the past. Especially when you look at the historical line and things like that. However, I don't necessarily think that that is a bad thing. I think this collection was really, really well done. And even though it's a different direction than what the company has done in the past, I don't think it's necessarily a bad direction. I think it's a pretty good direction to go into. And I really, really enjoy looking at these dolls. And I think they're just really high quality. So I'm glad that they did this collaboration because I think it's, it's done really well. But uh, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see more doll collecting videos, mostly about American Girl, make sure to hit the subscribe button and also make sure to follow my Instagram and TikTok. And I will see you all next time. <laughs>